Once, in a distant land, there was a village beset by a cacophony of voices. The villagers were bombarded by the noise of the world, the conflicting opinions, and the clamor of expectations. In this chaos, they found it hard to stay true to themselves, to discern what was important and what was not. One day, a wise old traveler came to the village. He saw the villagers, overwhelmed and distressed, and knew that they needed guidance. With a voice both gentle and strong, the traveler said, Fear not, for I bring you the knowledge of the Stoics, a wisdom that will help you rise above the noise and develop the mental toughness you seek. And so, my friends, today I will share with you this ancient wisdom divided into four powerful chapters. Allow these Stoic teachings to guide you, as they did the villagers, to a life of strength and resilience. Chapter 1. Accept what you cannot control. In the heart of ancient Rome, there lived a wise philosopher named Epictetus. He believed that the key to a serene and fulfilling life was recognizing the delicate balance between what we can control and what we cannot. Epictetus taught his students, there are things within our power, such as our judgments, desires, and actions. There are also things outside our power, such as the words and actions of others, the passing of time, and the unfolding of events. Heeding these words, the villagers began to understand that to rise above the noise, they must first learn to accept the things beyond their control. Instead of being consumed by the cacophony, they chose to focus on their own actions and reactions. My friends, like the villagers, we too must recognize the limitations of our influence. By accepting what we cannot change, we free ourselves from the burden of fruitless worry and instead direct our energy toward shaping our own destiny. In this first chapter, let Epictetus's wisdom guide you. Focus on what you can control and gracefully accept what you cannot. In doing so, you will gain the serenity and mental strength needed to face the challenges that life throws your way. Chapter 2. Embrace Adversity as a Teacher The wise traveler shared another pearl of wisdom from the Stoics, which came from a man named Seneca. He was a great Roman philosopher who had experienced his fair share of adversity. Despite the challenges he faced, Seneca discovered that life's hardships could serve as our greatest teachers. Seneca once said, Difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. He believed that we should not merely endure adversity, but actively embrace it, for it is through our struggles that we learn, grow, and develop resilience. The villagers, inspired by Seneca's wisdom, started to view their challenges differently. They no longer saw hardships as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities to learn and become stronger. The noise of the world, though still present, began to lose its power over them. My friends, like the villagers, we too can choose to see our adversities as valuable lessons. When we face obstacles, let us remember that they are not only tests of our strength, but also opportunities to refine our character. In this second chapter, let Seneca's wisdom guide you. Embrace adversity as a teacher and cherish the lessons it provides. By doing so, you will develop the mental toughness needed to rise above the noise and remain steadfast in the face of life's challenges. Chapter 3 Cultivate Inner Contentment The wise traveler then shared the teachings of yet another Stoic philosopher, the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. A leader of great power, he found that true contentment was not derived from external sources, but from within oneself. Marcus Aurelius wrote in his meditations, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. He believed that happiness and contentment could be achieved by focusing on one's inner virtues and living in accordance with nature and reason. As the villagers absorbed this wisdom, they began to cultivate inner contentment. They shifted their attention away from the noise of the world and its ceaseless demands, and instead focused on nurturing their own virtues and values. This allowed them to find happiness and peace within themselves, despite the chaos that surrounded them. My friends, we too can choose to cultivate inner contentment. By embracing our inner virtues and aligning our thoughts and actions with our core values, we can find happiness within ourselves, irrespective of the noise and turmoil of the world. In this third chapter, 
Let Marcus Aurelius' wisdom guide you. Cultivate inner contentment through self-reflection and nurture your own virtues and values. By doing so, you will develop the mental toughness needed to rise above the noise and find true happiness within yourself. Chapter 4. Practice Gratitude and Mindfulness The wise traveler then shared the Stoic practice of gratitude and mindfulness. The Stoics believed that appreciating the present moment and recognizing the blessings in our lives would lead to a more fulfilled and content existence. The great Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. The Stoics taught that focusing on what we have, rather than what we lack, allows us to develop a sense of gratitude and contentment. As the villagers embraced this practice, they found themselves more at peace with the present moment. They began to appreciate the beauty and blessings of their lives, rather than getting lost in the noise of the world and its endless desires. My friends, we too can practice gratitude and mindfulness. By acknowledging the blessings in our lives and embracing the present moment, we can cultivate a sense of contentment and appreciation that will help us rise above the noise. In this fourth and final chapter, let the Stoic wisdom guide you. Practice gratitude for the gifts you have and embrace mindfulness to live fully in the present moment. By doing so, you will develop the mental toughness needed to rise above the noise and live a life of true fulfillment. And so, my friends, let these four chapters of Stoic Wisdom serve as your guide to developing mental toughness and rising above the noise of the world. Remember, the key lies within you, in your ability to accept what you cannot control, embrace adversity as a teacher, cultivate inner contentment, and practice gratitude and mindfulness. With these powerful Stoic teachings, the villagers found the strength and resilience to rise above the noise that once overwhelmed them. And now, my friends, it is your turn to embark on this journey. Embrace the wisdom of the Stoics and may it serve you well.